despite the Trout injury, we sit in a very good spot. A game out of the division and probably a half a game out of a wild card spot, let's be honest. It's still very close and we're not even 40 games into the season. So, let's keep pushing. We are home yet again against the Atlanta Braves. Reed Detmers is on the mound. Not pitching as well as he did last year, but I mean, come on. He was going to eventually regress back eventually at some point. Nope. Shannon was. We take a look at some of the corner infielders first and possibly third baseman at this point. He will hustle it in to second for it. A double here in the second inning. He is definitely a gentleman that I am looking forward to hitting very well. Let's be honest. He uh, hit damn near 300 last year. Taylor Ward grounds it up the middle into center field. Unfortunately, uh, Shaniel decided not to advance. As a matter of fact, Shaniel has hit over 275 each of the last two seasons and is currently above that as we speak. Hoppy, ground ball to third. The diving attempt by, uh, I don't remember who that is. Anyways, it rolls in left field and we score. Doesn't matter who has the third. It might be a new player they just signed. Actually, they did sign somebody in the offseason. Really, Adamas. So we have Adamas. They have uh, Crawford playing in the uh, middle infield. They've got some talent, and it's kind of a reason why they're playing better now. They're able to shuffle guys around as they need to to get the job done. And you know what? They're going to be formidable. They do also have a pretty good pitching staff. They still got Castillo, Gregory Santos. Well, he gave up Trent's 400 home run. As unfortunately, we end up losing this one in 14, 15, and 17. Castillo, eight strikeouts, five hits, seven innings, giving up two. As we go to our number two pitcher, Zach Plesak. Number two. He is five and two this season. Uh, trying to continue the good pitching he had last year. Rumor is he might be on the trade block. And ground ball in the right field and ended up scoring one thanks to Nolan Shawnee. Again, if he can hit for some power, that would be great. He played 133 games last year. He only drove in 44 runs. I, we're going to need more from him. He Granted, he is 23 years old. If he can discover that power stroke, that would be phenomenal. He is much better against righties. Why are you stealing? Okay, possibly. Yeah, you're not even trying to beat out a double play. What are you, what are you thinking? Well, it was two outs, and it made some sense. Let's be honest. Ground ball to Shonio. Shonio over to second, and he recover back to first. He steps on the bag just in time to get him out to end the inning. Shonio has scored 16 Times I'm guessing they mean by runs in the RBIs. And oh, he gets an absolute hold of one. The faster you throw him, the faster you get out of here. 97 out of the hand. 102 off the bat. That is a long ball. No doubt about it. And as you can see, the stands are like two-thirds full. I mean, we'll take it. Understandably, people are going to sell their tickets because Trout's not playing, but I'm telling you, you guys do need to continue to watch as he gets one, hits it deep to left center, and unfortunately, it is going to find a glove. Julio Rodriguez is going to chase it down. And damn it, we missed Nose's first home run. Oh, man, I would have loved to have either seen it myself or been a part of it to actually hit it. And ooh, swing and a miss at a sweeping curveball. Looked kind of like a slurry boy. A slider or a sweeper. I'm not sure. They're all kind of confusing. I'm not going to lie. As here in the bottom of the ninth, Shaniel, damn near batting 500 with runners in square position, faces the closer Andres Munoz and fouls off a slider now. As they have a runner on second. I'm going to say first. That is Joe Adele and check swing. Oh, come on. Who is making these calls, man? That is not a strike. Not only was the ball not remotely in the zone, the catcher didn't frame it, and it wasn't even a swing. Like, who's fire these damn umpires? I'm not going to ask for robots because there is a human element in umpiring, but come on, you can't be that bad. Oh, man. J.P. Crawford, though, playing pretty well, so he's going to hold this spot down, either playing second or even in the outfield. Remember, he is a very versatile player. He has a limited no-trade clause where he can... Uh, rescind trades to five teams per year. The Angels are not a part of that. If we wanted to trade for him, we could. 
I'm probably not going to. Shaniel hits this one deep to center field. Julio Rodriguez. Damn it, that one died in the wind. The wind happens to be blowing in towards home as Adele doesn't seem to have a problem to hit one out. He just ties the ball game at one apiece. And Shaniel gets another opportunity. He's going to hook this one down the right field line. It is going to land in the stands for a home run. We take the lead. It is two to one. Angels. Maybe I shouldn't be complaining about the wind. Sometimes it blows in your favor. Sometimes it whips around. You never know. It's kind of like MetLife Stadium. I know that's a football reference, but I, I think y'all understand. Maybe. Ooh, swinging a miss at a slider inside. I don't know what he saw in that. Fourth strikeout for Logan Gilbert. Gabe Spire. Ooh, swinging a miss at a high sinker. It looked good. I'm telling you, sometimes that high sinker is good because it's got that two seam kind of break to it. But it is also a more vertical, a more horizontal vertical down break I, I know what I'm saying I've I, I, I thrown it before nonetheless whatever hey look it's Anthony Rendon yes he's still on the roster and occasionally he will play in the infield he's playing first base today for Nolan Shaniel and oh rips one down the left field line at a bounce and carry off the pole for a double yes I still kept Rendon even in 2025 because well I can't trade him no trade clause and he's still a valuable player, even if he's not that good overall-wise. Oh, my goodness. Taylor Ward smokes this one in left field. It is going to bounce down in front of the MLB 24 sign. How have we not replaced that with 25? We put Mike Trout on the cover this year. RBI double. We'll take it. We lead to, to nothing. Rendon, second plate appearance. And he's going to smack this one. Ooh, not into the gap. I thought that was getting over Crawford's head. Great extension by the young man for the out. Bowles gets an RBI single, but the Mariners bounce back for three runs as we take a look at the splits. Lefties heading 391, righties only hitting 211 as we we'll increase that as he gets a base hit in the right field. The slide by Knowles and he will score this 5-4 as can see the life and the spirit from Rendon. I don't know if it's because Trout is injured, but oh my goodness. Ward smokes this one in the right field, and it's going to get out of here. I'm glad that Rendon is showing, at least publicly, that he does care about baseball. I think he does. I know he said faith and family was his, his, uh, his rock, his foundation, and it should be, because after this game is over, whether this is his last game or not, He's going to have that for the rest of his living life. Base hit up the middle, 9-8. I was going to say, hopefully we can make a comeback. But we still have plenty of time. But, oh, he is hype. Okay. Okay, Rendon. Keep getting them hits. As Taylor Ward, unfortunately, is going to strike out on a slider. And jump ahead. Logan Ohapi is going to, oh, strike out looking at a fastball that was questionable at best. On the corner. Hell, it didn't even touch the so-called box there for the strike zone. Unfortunately, a ground out second to, or sorry, short to second. That would be the out inning. Mariners still lead nine to eight. Rendon having a hell of a game. Three for four. Righty batting average now at the 286. Chops it to short. Crawford fires across the diamond. And unfortunately, Rendon will be the first out here in the eight inning. Hopefully we've got some more pop in us. We don't. We don't. As we end up losing this one, nine to eight. Taylor Trammell, two for three with two long balls. Dre Jamison, a guy we have not seen yet because he's a reliever, didn't end up getting the loss. Kenny Rosenberg is going to be out with a twin rotator cuff. Got to make some moves around the uh, minors. I'm not calling anybody up to the majors just quite yet, but I will have to shuffle around this minor league uh, rotation a bit. Moving guys like Victor Medeiros up or down. Nope, we move him down. Now we move him back up. He went from A ball to AAA in literally a couple clicks. Because what well, Medeiros is like our ninth or tenth best starting pitcher. 
at least by overall. And listen, he might as well be up there because he's got to get some run at the triple A level. Joaquin Zepeda still has not played yet as we get ready to take on the Oakland Athletics. Yes, they are still in Oakland. No, I'm not moving them because quite simply, while I dislike the Oakland Coliseum and the ownership, I don't have the patience to try to build a stadium. I could have stuck them in a minor league stadium for like a couple of years and then waited until, what is it, 2027 before they play in a possibly legitimate stadium, either in Utah or in Reno or in Vegas or on the moon or wherever the hell they choose to take this team because they probably they should probably be contracted but because they can't seem to put even a little league amount of talent on the field but I don't make that call Nick Madrigal and Mickey Moniak on second and first respectively Shaniel back in the lineup um, I don't think you should have swung at that it almost cut it almost gave you a haircut probably why they called that cutter and 2-2 two -two ball game and Gifo with an RBI single showing you up to 294 on the batting average or down really Ooh, gets a hard hit ball up the middle with grounder as we will be taking a look at the Mother's Day game it'll be coming after this to be completely honest and as Ward lines it right to second as Jello is able to make the catch showing you to get back and Dunn will work the walk because can still work the walk at this point in his career even if he's not exactly a starter Soto strikes out on the cut fastball that was the first strikeout for him he was mad late in the game for him to get a first strikeout you would think he was sitting here mowing guys down but he did give up two runs All right, speaking of giving up runs Sean you'll has scored he's two for two listen he is probably going to stick around if he continues to hit well i'm not expecting uh, blast to the freaking bay as you can see he strikes out but if he can prove that he can at least hit he will stay up he can feel decently well i'm not really too concerned about that his arm isn't the strongest, even if he did show an outfield assist in an earlier episode fly ball to right field and unfortunately whoa Two outfielders almost collide with one another, but they're able to make the catch as Oakland is up 4-2, and I should probably stop talking crap about them. Now 5-4, we got a chance to take the lead. Hit into right field. Runner coming around third. Sliding to the plate. He's going to be tagged out in the freaking athletics when the ball game. Uh, you know what? I can appreciate the aggressiveness on the base paths. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Real hard. I'm all about it. Chance McDermott. Oh my goodness. Um, probably should be sent down. 0 for 5, 7, 11 ERA. That's probably where you need to be working if you're pitching with a 2.05 width. You gotta be kidding me. His walk rate is higher than his strikeout rate. Send him down, please. Never mind. I don't make that call. Shawnyo, three nothing lead runner on first. He smacks one in the left field four seamer but it is going to be caught by the left fielder and that'll going to have to hustle back please do thank you well now we jump ahead five nothing showing you has been credited with four rbis in the last five games base hit in the left field one run is going to score make it another oh my goodness it is seven to nothing it is already the fourth inning i will take it i will take it i will take it i wish we could spread this out to some other games but oh who cares screw it keep laying the wood on him logan ohoppy with an absolute blast i don't even know where it landed why why i will tell you why it went 450 feet that's why i have no idea where it landed 10 to nothing 10 to nothing can we please spread this offense out yeah a 32 launch angle that is extremely high for a lot of home runs but we will take it as this fly ball is going to get hit into center and unfortunately oh no sacrifice fly it is now 11 to nothing wow this might be worse than if the raiders played the the raiders played the the rams which funny enough both of those teams played in uh la <laughs> nonetheless we do pick up the victory i didn't bother showing the last plate appearance there was no point we have absolutely smoked this team 16 to nothing 17 hits to their five as basically everybody drives in the run except Deshaun Knowles, which is a shame. A 
look, Joe Adele. Ah, oh, damn it. Nolan Chenio got hurt. I was hoping to play with him. Actually, I, SDS, you've got to fix that. If I play a lot with somebody and they get hurt, I should be able to choose somebody else. As we end up losing this ball game 6-2, to let's just move on. Jeez Louise. All right, going to look to do a little shuffling of the minor league system. And never mind. We'll just go to scouting at this point. Again, our scouts are not being efficient enough. I think that's the problem. As you can see, their scouting progress, it takes two weeks to three weeks to scout anybody to full or even remotely like 80% or 75. I, I just need them to scout beyond 50% and then they'll take guys off the board. These guys are absolutely inefficient. We'll probably fire them at the end of the year. I don't know. It depends on who they find. Cy Legend was a guy who was drafted last year and ended up not signing. So I just thought I'd look at him again. He has a fastball, slurf, curveball. He's a reliever, so I'm not expecting a ton out of him. Thurman Judd is a right fielder I have found. He's got decent power and great arm. We well, might have a great arm. I figured I might as well look at a closer, too, because Kirby Yates is 38, and I've got to replace our relievers at some point. 